We are now going to find function values and the domain or range of polynomial functions graphically. So suppose we have this given graph and it relates to the function f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared minus 9x plus 2. So we have both of these already. If we want to know what f of 2 is, then we can go to our graph and we can come over to 2 and we draw a vertical line through it because this is where our x is 2 and then we look at this intersection point and so we come back over here and we see that when f is 2, when x is 2, f of x is negative 20. So find your vertical line and look for your output. And remember, when we're given an input, we'll only get one output. Change the question a little bit. When does f of x equal minus 25? Well, let's do this in a different color. So let's go to our green and we're, we want to know when the output is minus 25. So we go to a y value of minus 25 and we draw in our line. And we notice it hits right here and right here. This means that x is minus 3 and x is 3. So f of minus 3 equals minus 25 and f of 3 also equals minus 25. These two inputs give the same output. Still a function because it doesn't have, you can have multiple inputs go to the same output. You just can't have the same input going to multiple outputs. All right, the last thing we want to look at is domain and range. Remember, domain is legal x values. The x values that, if we were to evaluate them, would have a matching y value. And so we come in, we notice this is going to continue on to the left. This is going to continue on to the right, and it's going to keep going and going. And so as we look at this, we notice it has everything from the negative infinity to the positive infinity. And for our range, now we're looking at our up-down. This keeps going down, so it's going to get to the bottom as far down as it can go, so it starts at minus infinity. And as we follow it around, oh, it has a t high point, it comes back down, has a low point, but then it keeps going. And where it goes to is positive infinity because that arrow keeps going up. So our domain and our range go from minus infinity to infinity. Or we can say these are the set of all real numbers. Depending on if we want interval notation or English.